So I am in my new filming room. There's nothing in it because I can't afford to buy any furniture yet. But you know what? It's so nice to have my own space to film in now. Long story short, our roommate moved out. Y'all are definitely gonna get a story time about it because this shit was crazy. Hello everyone, if you don't know me, my name is Ainsley Grace. I make beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos every week here on YouTube just for you guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. As always, it's on my intro card and link down below. Don't forget to subscribe and join our girly space. Turn your post notifications on so you never miss an upload. I upload every Monday and Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Don't miss it. We're cool and fun here. This is the girly space. This is a safe space. Come hang out with us. So as you guys have seen, I did just do an all clearance hygiene shopping haul. And um, I went shopping again. So today I am so excited because I have yet another all clearance hygiene shopping haul. And let me tell you guys, there's some good stuff in here and you guys are about to see. So I have three bags of products here to show you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and bag number one. So the first thing I got were these individual Walgreens brand masks. These ones are Manuka Honey peel off masks and these one have dead sea minerals in them. These were on clearance for like 99 cents a piece, which doesn't seem like a good clearance, but they're almost $2 a piece. So I definitely had to pick some of these up. Along with the individual masks, they also had their tube masks on sale. These are normally like $4.99 and they were on clearance for like $2. So I got this one that has oatmeal and avocado in it. I got this detox one that has bamboo charcoal and sugarcane extract. And then I also got this clarifying one with spearmint leaf oil. Say what you want about the Walgreens brand, but these face masks are really good. I really like them and I do face masks literally every other day, if not every day. So I know they'll get used and I'm so excited about them. On that same train of face masks, I got this Soap and Glory Bright and Beautiful Radiance Boosting Sheet Mask. This was on clearance for 50 cents. 50 cents. If you guys know, the Soap and Glory uh, sheet masks are $4 a piece. The Speed Plump one is my favorite. That one is so good that I would pay full price for it any day, but for 50 cents, y'all already know I had to grab it. The next thing I have is the Shea Moisture Pink Himalayan Salt Relaxing Shower Steamers. These were originally like $6 and I got them for $1.29. Up until my roommate moved out, I didn't have bathtub. So something like this is perfect to throw in the shower when you wanna have a relaxing evening and you wanna do some self care. And even though I do now have a bathtub, I'm still gonna be using these. <laughs> the last product in bag number one I am so excited about is the Derma Geek Nourishing Facial Night Cream. This is like a holy grail moisturizer for me. Like I absolutely love it. And it was on clearance for $9.99. 50% off is usually not what I would pay. I like to wait for the 75 to 90% off. But for this product, I would pay full price. So to see it on clearance had me so excited. And I'm like almost out of mind anyway. So I was so happy to see this. So bag number two is definitely where it's starting to get good. Let's get into it. So these technically were not on clearance. However, they were on sale for around $2 and I had a register reward. So I went ahead and used it on this. I only paid maybe 43 cents for these. These are the Botanics sheet masks. I got the hydration one and the all bright one. And let me tell you guys, I love them both. Don't get me wrong, but this all bright one is literally up there in my holy grail sheet masks. I am on a journey to find the best sheet mask on the market and this one, is tied with the Soapy Lori Speed Plump right now. It is literally so good and I love these because they have ear holes. 
So you can do things while you do your face mask. So convenient, I love these. I would pay full price for them any day. And honestly, I might go back and buy the full stock because I literally love them so much. <laughs> In here, I got two of these Shea Moisture Pink Himalayan Relaxing Bar Soaps. These were on clearance for 65 cents and they were also buy one, get one 50% off. So definitely a great deal. You guys already know, anytime bar soap goes on clearance, regardless of how much I have, which is a lot, I always buy it, always, always, always. Cause the way I think about it, worst case scenario, if I can't afford body wash or I somehow run out in my stockpile or whatever, you can still get clean with some bar soap, okay? I love my bar soap, I always keep it stocked up. These are like five, six dollar bar soaps. So definitely when I saw these, I had to pick them up. Continuing on the bar soap train, I also got the Manuka Honey and Yogurt Skin Renewal Recipe Bar Soaps from Shea Moisture. Again, these were 55 cents, buy one, get one 50 percent off, so definitely a great deal. I also got the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Skin Renewal Recipe Body Yogurt Moisturizer. Enough said, it was like a dollar, so I feel like for the price, definitely worth it. I have a lot of honey, sweet kind of smells in my collection, so it'll definitely fit in nicely. Plus their Manuka Honey hairline is like one of my favorites, so if that's indicative of anything, is that it's gonna be good. Last for bag number two, I have the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Hydrating Body Wash. This was like a dollar and nine cents, I believe. You can never go wrong with some clearance body wash. Like I said, I keep it stocked up because I use a lot of it. I shower a lot. I like to smell good. So you already know, I see it on clearance. I'm gonna buy it. Lastly is bag number three, and this is where the real treasures are, and you guys are gonna see why. Just to save myself a little bit of breath, Everything in this bag was on clearance for 50 cents. They were all the same price. So just to clear that up, this entire bag is full of Soap and Glory products. Full size Soap and Glory body care bath products. So firstly, I have the scrub of your life. I've talked about it on my channel before. You guys already know I love it. You guys already know that I love the original pink scent from Soap and Glory because it goes perfectly with Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, which is my favorite. So when I saw this on clearance for 50 cents, 50 cents, it was in my cart so fast. You guys don't even know. Next, I got the Smoothie Star Breakfast Scrub. The Smoothie Star line is a almond and vanilla scent. I've blown through just about all of my Tree Hut body scrubs. They're expensive. I don't have a lot of money right now. So to see this on clearance for 50 cents, best believe I picked it up because it's a sweet smell. I don't have any sweet smelling body scrubs right now to go with my sweeter scents. And when I do shave my legs and I want to wear a sweet smell, I would prefer to have a matching body scrub. This stuff smells so good. I was so excited. So next I got the Call of Fruity Bubble in Paradise body wash as well as the No Woman No Dry body butter that goes with it. Personally, when I first smelled it, it smelled like cough syrup to me and I didn't like it. I'm really not the biggest fan of like fruity smells because they all smell like cough syrup to me. But when I smelled it again, I was like, you know what? I can mix it with something or, you know, like it's growing on me a little bit. I can definitely mix it in with something to make it a little bit better. But for 50 cents, Soap and Glory, you're out of your mind if you think I'm not gonna buy it. Next up, I got the Simply the Boost Body Polish. This one is like a grapefruit scent. I just put the Dove, their new ones in the tall bottles. I got the grapefruit one on clearance at some point. I just put it in my shower. And again, I love a good matching body scrub. So I figured why not go ahead and pick it up, put it in my shower. I know it's gonna get used. It smells so good and refreshing. Ugh. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use this. These next two are the last, but they're probably the ones I'm the most excited about because I've been eyeballing this line 
literally for like a year and I just could not bring myself to pay full price for it. These last two items that I have are the Buff and Ready Body Scrub and the Magnificoco Body Lotion. I already love a good coconut scent. I'm definitely one of those people that's a coconut girl, but the Soaping Glory Magnificoco scent is just different. It's a really refreshing, light coconut smell and it's not super creamy and overpowering like a lot of coconut smells can be. This stuff is fire. I am definitely the kind of person that prefers more of a body butter or a deep moisturizing kind of lotion. I have super dry skin, so I really like to have that extra moisture. But let me tell you, for this being a body lotion, it's got all the extra moisture you need. They definitely, they have a body butter version of it and it is illuminating, so it's got a little bit of shimmer in it and it's really pretty, but honestly, you don't need it to get that moisture. This lotion does the job just fine and it's so good. It's not like any other coconut smell I've ever smelled in my life. It's like my favorite. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed because I was super excited to film this video and super excited to see all of the things on clearance that I saw and found and bought. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. If you're you're not a part of the girly space yet what are you waiting for girl until next video bye babies